Hello, and welcome to IBA's presentation regarding the new public charge policy. The new public charge policy went into effect on February 24, 2020, but the courts are still deciding whether the changes are legal. This means that the new policy could eventually be stopped. Many immigrants are not affected by these changes in the new policy because they are not subject to a public charge test at all. Anyone who is undocumented and who is not planning to apply for an immigration benefit is not subject to the new policy. Refugees, asylees, U visa holders, T visa holders, VAWA applicants, special immigrant status minors, U.S. citizens, or applicants for any of these are not subject to the public charge policy. Most permanent residents are also not subject to the public charge test, neither TPS applicants or people renewing their DACA. The new public charge rules do not change who is eligible for health benefits and other public benefit programs. Immigrants who qualify for certain public benefits remain eligible. Under the new public charge rules, Many government-funded services are still safe to use and do not result in negative immigration consequences. Head Start, WIC, free and reduced cost school meals, disaster relief, and many other programs remain safe to use. The new public charge test considers only the use of the following. Exclusively federally funded Medicaid, called Medi-Cal in California, except for emergency, pregnancy, and 60 days after pregnancy, and use by children under the age of 21. Federally funded food stamps, called SNAPs or CalFresh in California. Federal public housing assistance, Section 8 assistance, and project-based rental assistance. Federal, state, and local cash assistance. Note. In California, the use of Medi-Cal by children and young adults up to the age of 26 is not part of the public charge test. Under the new public charge rules, the use of benefits by family members, such as children, does not count against the applicant for immigration status. The public charge test focuses on many facts, not just the use of benefits, such as the applicant's age, income, and education. Immigrant families should consult an immigration law expert before making important decisions about the well-being of their families, since there may be no immigration consequences for accessing health and public benefit programs they qualify for. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you would like additional information or specifically contact information, please visit our website at www.iibayarea.org.